Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will be talking about the brain tumor, what are the causes and what are the symptoms and what are the types of brain tumors. So let's move on. Welcome to Kunjus Media. So what are basically these brain tumors? These brain tumors are nothing but they are you know a mass or abnormal cell growth in your brain. These are brain tumors. So these brain tumors may be either cancerous or non-cancerous. Cancerous brain tumors are the tumors which will spread from one region to another region and hence they are very dangerous. Whereas non-cancerous or benign tumors are the tumors which remain confined only to a specific region and they do not cause any harm. right? And these tumors in the brain may originate either in the brain or spinal cord or maybe they originate in uh, maybe other structure of our body and then spread to the brain. So based on this, the brain tumors are classified as primary brain tumors and secondary brain tumors. So how fast a tumor grows will greatly depend upon its location and its growth rate and it also influences how severely it affects your nervous system functions. So and also the treatment options also depends upon the location or the type of the brain tumor and the size of the tumor. Right? Now let's talk about the types of brain tumors. So basically we have two types of brain tumors. They are uh, primary brain tumor and secondary brain tumor. So primary brain tumor is a tumor that originates in the brain itself and uh, it's, we don't know what is the exact cause of this uh, till date but they say that uh, it's caused due to a mutation which is caused in the DNA and you know as you all know the DNA instructs our cell what to do and what not to do. So mutation in a single gene may cause you know abnormal growth of cells and causing the healthier cells to die. So this causes primary brain tumor. So based on where these uh, primary brain tumors are located, they are classified into various types. So few of uh, primary brain tumors are gliomas. So as the name says, this affects the neuroglial cells in the brain, which may be astrocytes, oligodendrocytes and all other neuroglial cells in the brain. Next is pituitary adenoma. As the name says, here the tumor uh, originates from the pituitary gland or the, gla or the region of the brain which is affected is pituitary gland. As you all know, pituitary gland is called as the master gland of our body and it's responsible for lot of uh, functions in our body. So this kind of tumor, you know, disturbs throughout, uh, disturbs the pituitary secretion throughout our body. Next is meningioma. Here also, here uh, as the name says, the tumor is affected to the meninges. Meninges are the protective coverings of the brain and spinal cord. Here the, uh, mening here the you know, tumor originates at the base of our brain and then spreads throughout uh, by the cerebrospinal fluid. And next coming on to medulla blastoma. Here as the name says again, the part of the brain which is affected is medulla. And uh, even this uh, also spreads through the cerebrospinal fluid and it's cancerous. Right? And next is uh, germ cell tumor. Here the, you know, this is mostly found in, you know, uh, small, small children, right? Here during when they develop their testicles and ovaries, there is a tumor which is caused and then it spreads to the brain. This is called as germ cell tumor. The next type of uh, primary brain tumors are um, acoustic neuromas. So here the tumors are uh, affected to the nerve called as the vestibular nerve which connects our inner ear and the brain and hence it's responsible for our you know, perception of sound and balance of our body. So the tumor uh, which is caused to this nerve means that we uh, lose our hearing ability and we have some unsteadiness while you know uh, performing activities. And the final uh, type of primary brain tumor which we'll discuss today is craniopharyngioma. So here uh, the tumor originates near the pituitary gland and it spreads around all the regions of the pituitary gland. So this is, uh, this is also found to be cancerous and it's uh, really harmful. Now moving on to the secondary brain tumors. So these secondary brain tumors as I said previously do not originate in the brain. See they originated any other body parts other than brain and then those uh, tumors spread to our brain. Usually all the secondary brain tumors are malignant and they are cancerous. Right? And this is the most common type of brain cancers and it makes up almost some 90% of the total brain cancers in the world. Right? So these are the secondary brain tumors. See, any cancer can spread to the brain but the most common cancers which spread to the brain are breast cancer, lung cancer, kidney cancer and skin cancer. So this is all about uh, secondary brain tumors. 
Now let's talk about the symptoms uh, which we experience when we have a brain tumor. See generally, you know, based on the tumor the symptoms vary. But when we speak of general symptoms, it may include, you know, frequent and severe headache when you wake up and when you go to sleep, you experience a kind of head or severe headache. Then you may have some blurred vision, problems in listening, uh, when, when it's, you know, acoustic uh, kind of tumor, you may experience, you know, difficulty in listening and when it is, you know, a pituitary uh, cancer, you may experience, you know, in males, they may experience, you uh, know, breast growth and in females, they may experience hirsutism and there are a lot of symptoms which depends upon the kind of tumor. So this is about the symptoms. Now when we talk about the diagnosis of the tumors, as you all know, it is maybe by CT scan, MRI scan, then angiography, then finally biopsy. So these are the main diagnostic tests for brain tumor, not just brain tumor, but for all the cancers. Now let's move on to the important part, that is treatment. So how can these tumors be treated? See, for all the malignant tumors, it's suggested that surgery proves the best. See, in, in most of the cases, the main goal of our surgery is to, you know, remove as much of the tumor that is, you know, that can be removed without causing any harm to the surrounding, you know, organs or tissues, right? But there are uh, some tumors, their location actually limits us from removing the complete tumor. So that's actually, uh, but even partial removal of the tumor can also prove beneficial in case of brain cancers, right? So after this neurosurgery, you know, chemotherapy and, you know, uh, spe uh, speech therapy, all this can prove very beneficial. So surgery is the most, uh, you know, efficient method to, you know, treat the malignant brain tumors, right? Now let's talk about the risk factors which are associated with the brain tumor. So first is, of course, like all the ages, uh, like all the diseases, increased age is one of the, you know, risk factors for all the diseases and so as for brain tumors. Next, which is uh, which uh, is quite common, that's exposure to radiations. See, prolonged exposure to certain you know radiations such as UV or any other harmful radiations may you know increase your risk of brain tumor or any cancer it is. See, all the cancer patients, I mean, lot of cancer patients are you know um, suggested to you know do radiotherapy, but they in turn you know cause the damage of surrounding healthy tissues right and also some chemicals which is some certain chemicals also are said to cause brain tumor and the most important is family history see from the people uh, who have a background or whose family history uh, uh, shows brain tumor are you know at a higher risk of developing brain tumors and the four uh, final is uh, no history of chickenpox yes so in children, it's been proved that in children who uh, who had a chicken pox during their childhood had least uh, risk of developing brain tumors. So these are the risk factors which is associated with brain tumors. Hope you all liked the video. If you did, do give a like, to share and to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel.